In 2008, the Dysart Unified School District adopted a new strategic plan that aimed to identify a clear and articulated path of excellence for educating students for the new century. As part of the strategic plan, the District Governing Board began the adoption and implementation of a new model of governance or method of management called policy governance. This shift was meant to empower the Dysart Governing Board to fulfill their obligations to the community by allowing them to focus on the larger issues, to delegate with clarity, to direct the superintendent who acts as the chief executive officer, to evaluate effectively, and to truly lead the Dysart Unified School District toward success. To understand the idea behind policy governance and how the Dysart Governing Board operates under this new model, it's important first to identify the new role of each group. Previously, it was often thought that the governing board's role was to serve the organization or the Dysart Unified School District. However, in policy governance, the governing board's role becomes more focused on serving the community, more specifically anyone who lives within the boundaries of the Dysart District. The superintendent's role within policy governance becomes equivalent to that of a chief executive officer or CEO. He or she is the person who has direct authority over the operational aspects of the district, but is also the sole person accountable to the governing board and ultimately responsible for the Dysart district meeting its expectations. The Dysart school district community, including all those living within the district boundaries, serves as the owners or those who have an investment in the success of the Dysart District. The beneficiaries within the model are the students, whose lives benefit from that success. So to graphically represent this new hierarchy in policy governance, the superintendent serves the Dysart Unified School District as CEO. He or she reports to the Dysart Governing Board, who ultimately serves the community. All of these groups, along with partners, such as customers, regulators, vendors, and community partners, work for the end result, or beneficiaries, who are the students. This redefining of roles serves to separate the positive difference the district makes in the community versus the way in which that outcome is achieved. Policy governance separates the purpose, or the end result, from other district issues. The District Governing Board will hold the superintendent accountable for accomplishing the purpose and only limit the staff's available means to those actions which do not violate the board's pre-stated standards. Essentially, the superintendent and staff are given the ability and choice on how to make students more successful. The Governing Board's role is to ensure that outcome is met. In other words, the Governing Board focuses on the ends while the superintendent, or CEO, focuses on the means by which the district will reach those end results. This separation of end results and how they are accomplished does two things. It gives the superintendent, or CEO, more choices on how to achieve success. But at the same time, it gives greater ownership and accountability to him or her as well. The governing board no longer dictates specific actions, but evaluates the choices the superintendent makes and how effective they are at achieving the outcomes. Policy governance is a radical and effective change in the way the Dysart Governing Board does its job. It allows greater accountability and the responsibility and authority of leadership becomes more than just rhetoric. This shift in management also creates more than a mission, it creates purpose through the connection of the district, governing board, and superintendent in a way that will benefit the community and students. The vision of the Dysart Unified School District is power in the preparation, excellence in the journey, success for a lifetime. The adoption of policy governance by Dysart adheres to that expectation by changing how each group in the district operates and aligns so as to make a more productive and effective district focused on its most important outcome, student success.